Rangers. But they lead it 3-0. Billy Williams will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he will get in there with his first big league hit, a double. And now there's no happier person in the ballpark. Billy Williams has just recorded his first hit as a big leaguer. And as you'd expect would happen, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. And you know, Matt, nothing can quite prepare you for this kind of moment. Of course, as a player, you always expect to do well. And in your head, you've got a certain idea of what it's going to feel like. But there's quite a difference between imagining how it's going to feel and then actually getting that first hit. First pitch to him. In the air to center. Love is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Bert Campanella will stand in. Struck out trying to bunt his first time. First pitch on the way. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Jeff Burrows will start things out for the Rangers in their half of the sixth. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Now the one two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Now here's the pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there and pitch count. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Jim Freeze is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. The boys, that's 99 right through him. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a two and one. That's a pitch right there that you have to stay on top of, or else it's just going to get away from you. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now here it comes. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. And now there's no happier person in the ballpark. Jim Freeze has just recorded his first hit as a big leaguer. And as you'd expect would happen, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. And you know, Matt, nothing can quite prepare you for this kind of moment. Of course, as a player, you always expect to do well. And in your head, you've got a certain idea of what it's going to feel like. But there's quite a difference between imagining how it's going to feel and then actually getting that first hit. Roy Howell will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. That hole getting a little deeper now. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. And a fastball flew it right by him, and there are two down. Joe Love will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Bill North 
will dig in now. Hitless in his two at bats so far. North. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. The 1 0 pitch. And this pitch is going to be bounced foul over near Ty Waller in the first base coaching box. The 1 1. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two now. Man, yeah, not a real good effort there. That pitch was never going to be a strike. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. You know, that's more than the rest of these guys can say. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now another two two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Gene Tennis waits on deck. And he misses ball four. Gene Tennis will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, Look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. He's ready now. The pitch, a little bit off the outside. It's one and two. All right, now you've just seen two straight breaking pitches miss away. So as a hitter, you're going to eliminate that pitch. No way does he throw it a third time. Now another one two and he's able to fight this one off foul to the right and the count will hold at one and two. Throw over to the bag smart to keep an eye on. It. He'll try again one two goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And it's out of here. So they're on the board, finally. Box Reggie Jackson as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. So after the strong five innings, things have not come as easily for him here in inning number six. Well, this is kind of the MO of this lineup. They have a way of just wearing you down. And they're starting to get into some better counts to hit, and that works paying off. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Here's the 1 1. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Joe Rudy will stand in for a third time now. His previous efforts left something to be desired as he popped out and bounced into a double play. And here's the first pitch. Here we go. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Jim Sung will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. In there, 0 and 1. 
Well, the guy you see right there calling the shots has opted to roll with his starter here to begin his half of the seven. And that pitch count is a concern, so he may get the chance to finish this That's inning off and, and then call it a night. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's two one and two. two that misses, and we're even at two and two. And he pops it up back behind second base. Garner stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Lenny Randall will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Roy Small will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Now the pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. I know the adrenaline can get to you sometimes, but when you start overthrowing your fastball like that, and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. And that'll take care of the leadoff man here in the home seventh. Sal Bacco will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. On to first, and there are two down. Phil Garner will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. They're down 3-2. to two. First pitch coming. Toby Hara is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. and oh. Any question in your guys' minds about bringing the starter back here for the eighth inning? I would have thought seven innings would have been enough, but knowing this guy, he may have talked his manager into letting him stay and go out there for one more inning. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Jeff Burrows will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike 2. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick. And that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Jim Reese will get another crack. 1 for 3 thus far. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Rangers set down in order. They're up three to two. Bert Campanella will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long, and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The next 0-2. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat from the dugout now to make the walk to the mound. And a change is forthcoming, as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first.